the Pokemon Shiny Badge Quest Nuzlocke. This concept might ring some bells, but I'm here to clear up the confusion. I'm Ginger Ninja 679 Find me on Twitch, where we do Pokemon Go, Shiny Pokemon hunting, and a variety of other things. Today, though, we will be explaining the Shiny Badge Quest Nuzlocke. Let's take things one at a time. A Shiny Badge Quest, not to be confused with the Dream Team Quest, includes finding one Shiny Pokemon before each gym in the region of a Pokemon game. These Shiny Pokemon are generally found at full odd Shiny rates, or 1 in 8192 from Generations 1 through 5, or 1 in 4096 from Gen 6 onwards. Despite how difficult it would seem to complete a Shiny Badge quest, it can be done as these amazing creators have proven by putting countless hours into their Shiny Badge quests to hunt Shiny Pokemon. Feel free to go check them out at their YouTubes and Twitches. With hopefully a better understanding of the Shiny Badge quest, let's move on and explain the Nuzlocke. A classic Pokemon Nuzlocke is a way to challenge yourself as you play through a Pokemon game. Here are the basic rules. You will catch one Pokemon, and only one, per route you visit. If one of your Pokemon dies, you cannot use it anymore. And, for fun, we will nickname all of our Pokemon. It would seem easy enough to complete a Shiny Badge quest with classic Nuzlocke rules, so I will be taking this a step further and implementing Hardcore Nuzlocke rules. These Hardcore Nuzlocke rules include no overleveling your Pokemon in comparison to the next gym leader's highest level Pokemon or it will be considered dead. No item use in battle outside of catching Pokemon. If all the Pokemon in your party faint or your team wipes, you forfeit the Nuzlocke. And finally, in coordination with the catching limits of the Shiny Badge quest, and instead of catching one Pokemon per route, only one Pokemon before each gym will be caught. The idea of this hardcore Nuzlocke rule set being implemented was inspired by Pokemon challenges on Twitch, as he grinds Pokemon games in their ROM hacks with this rule set to entertain thousands. Go check him out! The Shiny Badge Quest Nuzlocke poses quite the challenge for trainers that decide to take it on. The persistence and grinding needed to find the Shiny Pokemon tests endurance, but the Shiny certainly holds value and represents progress in the journey that the player takes. The challenge that the Hardcore Nuzlocke variant adds truly tests the ability of the player to grasp Pokemon knowledge, extensively plan out seemingly easy fights, and most importantly, show off their huge, knowledgeable brain. Here is how I will attempt to complete it. Pokemon White version and Pokemon Black version 2 are going to be the first games that I will attempt to Shiny Badge Quest Nuzlocke. As my favorite generation, Gen 5 and Unova hold lots of potential and have amazing Shinies to hunt for. I've already started them, and their first episodes will premiere in the coming months. With all that said and done, I truly wish you the best of luck if you plan to embark on a Shiny Badge Quest Nuzlocke of your own. I will post general resources below in the description to get you started, but feel free to comment or answer comments and collaborate to get your journey started too. If you need further help, go message me on my Twitter or personal message me on Discord. Thank you for watching.